Now let us discuss about removal of unit productions from the convex tree grammar. Let us see what is a unit production. If any production is in the form A implies B, then it is called as unit production. So here what is A? A is one non-terminal, B is another non-terminal. So if a non-terminal produces another non-terminal, then it is called as unit production. To eliminate unit productions, we have to use the following rule. If a production is in the form, A implies B. So this is called as unit production. Why? Because A is a non-terminal, B is a non-terminal. And B implies X1, X2, so on, Xn. So here B produces, here X1, X2, so on, Xn are nothing but a combination of terminals and non-terminals. So it may contain only terminals or it may contain non-terminals or combinations of both terminals and non-terminals. Then we can write the new production as, now we have to eliminate this unit production. So for that purpose, in place of B, we can write the productions of the B. So what are the productions of B? X1, X2, so on, Xn. So A implies, in place of B, write those productions. X1, X2, so on, Xn. So with this, in this way, we can uh, remove the unit production. Now let's take uh, two examples. So this is the simple example. A produces B. B produces 1, 0, R1. So here, A produces B is a unit production. So first we have to identify the unit production. So in order to eliminate A produces B, we have to check B production. Here B produces 1, 0, R1. So that means B is producing only terminal symbols. Okay. So now, uh, in place of uh, this B, we can write the productions of B. So now the productions of A will become 1, 0, R1. So in this way, we can eliminate the unit production. So here the grammar is A produces B, B produces 1, 0, R1. Here A produces B is unit production. So to eliminate this production, now in place of this B, we have to substitute the productions of B. So the productions of B are 1, 0, 1. So A produces 1, 0, 1. So after eliminating the unit production, this is the grammar. Now let's take this example. S produces A, A or B. B produces A or B, B. A produces A or B, C or B. So this is very, very important example. So first we need to identify the unit productions. So what are the unit productions here? S produces B, which is one unit production. Next, B produces A. This is second unit production. A produces B is third unit production third unit production. But here the problem is S is not producing only terminals. B is not producing terminals. A is not producing only terminals. So in addition to the terminals, here we have the unit production also. So in order to solve this problem, what we have to do is, so first we have to eliminate S implies B. So here what is the problem? Here the problem is no production is producing only the terminals. If a non-terminal is producing only terminals, then the, it will become very very easy. But here what is the problem? Every non-terminal is producing unit production. A produces B, B produces A, S produces B. So in every production we have unit production. So in order to solve these types of problems, if a non-terminal, that means if we have unit production in each production, that means if a non-terminal is not producing terminal symbols, then we have to follow this approach. So first we have to eliminate S implies B. So for that we have to take uh, the first production. Here S produces B. Here we are eliminating this production. S produces B. Now we have to take the productions of B. What are the productions of B? Capital A, small b. Capital A, small b. Next we need to take 
द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ये द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ये आर ये ये एंड द सेकेंड प्रोडक्शन इज बी सी थर्ड वन इज कैपिटल बी कैपिटल बी सो ये बी सी सो कैपिटल बी इफ यू एब्जर्व हियर बी इज प्रोड्यूसिंग बी बी इज प्रोड्यूसिंग बी दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल एवरी नॉन टेरिमिनल शुड प्रोड्यूस अदर नॉन टेरिमिनल ए नॉन टेरिमिनल डजेंट प्रोड्यूस इट्स मोर नॉन टेरिमिनल सो ए प्रोड्यूस ये दिस इज रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट ए मे प्रोड्यूस एदर यस आर बी आर सम अदर नॉन टेरिमिनल सो बी प्रोड्यूस बी इट वो डेज सो वी कैन रिमूव दिस प्रोडक्शन नाउ so we can remove that b production now so now after uh, eliminating s implies b so the productions are so we have the productions are the productions are so initially we have s implies a yet. let us write the final productions of s so the final productions of final productions of s are s implies initially we have a A, A, R. In order to remove B only, we are doing this procedure. So here we are getting B B. So B B R. Here we are getting A A R B C. So these are the final productions of S. So likewise, next we have to eliminate B implies A. So next we need to eliminate B implies A. So in order to eliminate B implies A, so first we need to take the other production B implies A. Next, what are the productions of A? The productions of A are we have three productions. So what are they? A. Next one is B C. Next one is capital B. Next one is capital B. A B C capital B. So if we observe here, uh, here uh, B is producing B. B is producing B, but it won't arise. A non-terminal doesn't produce its its own non-terminal. Okay, so it won't arise. So we can remove that B. So what are the final productions of final productions of B? So final productions of final productions of B are what are the final productions of B? So B produces. So in place of A, we have to write these productions. So what is the first one? A. Next production B C. Or uh, we can't write B here. Why? Because B produces B. It won't arise. Additionally, we have B B. Additionally, we have B. So B implies A is eliminated. Next, we have to eliminate A implies A. I am sorry, A implies B. So in order to eliminate A implies B. So we have to take A implies B that production. So here B produces, B produces. Here we can take A B B or we can take the final productions of B. For both we will get the same answer. So first let us take the first one. B produces. Let us take this production. B produces A R B B. 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 So here A is producing A. A is producing A. That won't arise. So we can cancel this production. So now what are the final productions of A? The final productions of A are. So first we have A. Next we have B C. Next we have B B. B B. Or let us do the second procedure. So here A is producing B. A is producing B. What are the productions of B in place of A B B? Let us take the final productions of B. So what are the final productions of B? So here A is producing B. Uh, to eliminate this one, so we have A, A is producing B and B is producing. Initial of this one, initial of this one. Let us take the final productions. So A B C B B. A B C B B. So now, what are the productions of A? A implies. So here we have A B C. A B C. So in order to eliminate this B, just we have to write these productions. A B C. 
A, B, C already appeared. So there is no need to write A, B, C one more time. So additionally we have B, B. So let us write that production. So here in order to remove this B, we can take the first production or we can take the final production of B. It is our choice. So here after removing the unit productions, the final grammar is S produces A, A or B, B or A, B. A or B, C. B produces A or B, C or B, B. A produces A or B, C or B, B. So this is very very important model. So every non-terminal is producing other non-terminal. So in this example, no non-terminal is producing the terminals. If a non-terminal is producing the terminals, then we can simply remove the productions. But here, no non-terminal is producing the terminals. So this is about removal of unit productions. If you like this video, then please uh, subscribe to the channel as well as uh, share with your friends. Thanks for watching.